Hello friends, this is Ramna. Today I will show demo on how to calculate working days or business days between two dates in SQL. So this is one of the important question for any um, for any portion like SQL developer or data analyst portion. In this demo, I will give clarity how easily we can get the business days from two dates. First of all, I am using for this to get the working days, I am using the one function called date diff function. So what date diff function will do, I will show now. Date diff will take three parameters. One is interval. Interval in the sense, it is day, week, month or year, whatever you want. So I am taking the uh, interval as a um, day. So starting date. Starting date means you give your starting date. I am giving my starting date as join 1st 2023. So end date. End date here I will give. I am giving get date. So this gives the difference of days. Difference in days. So if you execute this difference in days between two days is 7. Now I am using the same function and change the interval as week. Week and execute. In this case, <coughs> one week. Difference in week is one week between two days and seven days between two days. If I change this the date from Jan 1st to December 25th. It will give the result will be different. 14 days and two weeks here. Now I am using the same date diff uh, day or week function to get the actual working days or actual business days between two dates. So here I have one table called um, bug underscore table. So it stores the bug ID bug raised run and bug reserved run. So when the bug is raised and when it will uh, that bug is closed or reserved. All these details stored in, in this bug in this bug underscore table. So every organization is used to raise the bugs and close the bugs. So for tracking purpose some of them some of the organizations they are stored in the database tables like this. First <coughs> they want to know for analyzing purpose, they want to if you want to extract the report from the from this table to analyze. If you want to know how, in how many working days so and so bug is reserved, in how many working days the second bug is reserved, why it will take so much time. So all this the analysis will be done by using the report from this table. So here our intention is to in how many working days these bugs are reserved. So if you see. One double zero one bug ID has raised on December twenty sixth and reserved on January second. Like this, one double zero two second bug ID raised on December fifteenth, closed on December twenty seventh. Like that, in this difference in days, how many working days are there? So working days in the sense every week as excluding two weekends. Uh, remaining five days are considered as the work days, working days or business days. So I want to know, uh, we will know uh, how these working days is calculated. No. So I am using the same day, diff, uh, day function or week function. So I will raise the bug raise run with my first date, start date and bug uh, result in the is my end date, second date. My alias name is actual days. Actual days. Actual days is my alias. So if you run this one, first bug, 1001 bug is raised on 26th and resolved on January 2nd. The difference in 7 days. And second is 12 days. And third one is 2 days. And fourth one is 9 days. So in the same way, 
I want to know the difference in weeks also. Week. Week. Burger is wrong. So, actual, actual week. So, the first bug is uh, resolving in one week, one full week, and second bug is resolving two full weeks, and third bug within a week. That's why it came zero. And fourth bug also within one week. So here I already told week is seven days. By excluding the two weekends, it will come in number of business days as five. As the, as the working part, five working days is the, in every week. So I want to know in how many business days, in how many working days these bugs are resolved. This is actual days. This is the actual week. Now. <coughs> In third step, uh, I am taking the first query as it is. That means actual days. I am subtracting the after multiplying with two in the actual weeks. I am subtracting. I am subtracting minus. I am taking this the second query that is weeks, and I am multiplying with two. That means. Every week has, every week has, um, every week has two working days, two weekends. Every week, this week has multiplied with two. That is, um, uh, that is, we are getting two days from actual days to. I am subtracting this one, so that we will get the business, business, uh, business days. So I'm running this one. Actual day seven. So actual week week is one. So out of one week means two weekends. But subtracting the two seven minus two is equal to five. Like that, twelve twelve actual days. That is two weeks. Two into two four four. By subtracting the four from twelve is equal to eight. Eight business days. So in this case, there is the, the, within one week it will clear. So we directly take the two two days. So in, in fourth bug ready. So nine actual days. Uh, that means one week. One week means two two working two weekends. So I am subtracting the uh, one into two two from nine. That is seven. Seven seven business days. So this is how you know to calculate the business days between two days in the in your table. So first you need to take the difference in actual uh, actual days and actual week, and this is the crucial point. From actual days you need to subtract after multiplying with the two two day after multiplying uh, after multiplying uh, two with the number of weeks, so that you can subtract the from actual days. You will get the Real business days to resolve the uh, these bubble headings. Hope this video helps in solving the business days and working days. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.